In this video, we will show you how to add one or more components directly to your equipment list in Horizon. Adding new components in Horizon ensures your equipment list is up to date and accurate and eliminates potential paperwork errors. This will allow for your samples to be processed, tested, and analyzed in a timely manner. When you log into Horizon, click the Equipment Management tab and select Add Equipment from the drop down menu. Here, you will see a list of all the accounts you are able to add components and equipment to. You can search by account number, account name, city, state, or country. If you have multiple accounts, you can search by different views. Clicking the first set of zeros will open your main accounts, the second set opens your secondary accounts, and the third set allows you to see all of your accounts. Once you select the correct account, click the green arrow. To add your component ID, the default naming method is an automatic naming convention based on your asset's details. To name your component this way, simply enter in the name of your asset, the position and the sample point, and the component ID will automatically populate based on those fields. Clicking Name Component Directly allows you to provide a unique name for what you'd like the name of the component to be, so it can match your records. If you have a secondary component ID, you can enter it here. Select the sample type, lubricant, engine coolant, or fuel for your new component. Next, select a component type. If you begin to type a component, the fields will populate automatically with different component types. Or if you simply click into the field, you can scroll to see all of the component type options. If you do not see the component type you need, click the blue arrow to submit a request to add a component type to your account. This will send a notification to our customer service to add a component to your account for you. If you know the component manufacturer and model, enter them in the next two fields. The application field is the classification of the component operation, or the industry the component is being used in. To provide the PSI for your hydraulic system, enter it here. If the application does not have a hydraulic system pressure, leave the field as zero. Sampling interval is the number of days you want to sample your piece of equipment. This depends on the environment and how many hours of operation it is in use. Some capacity of the unit is available in quarts, gallons, liters, pints, or unknown. Then, select the default unit of measure for that piece of equipment. For filter type, select the correct type from the drop-down. If you do not see the filter type you need, click the blue arrow to request for a filter type to be added to your account. Add your filter micron rating into the field here. For product values, enter in the product manufacturer, product name, and product grade. Wildcard values are operational fields to provide any additional information that may be useful to you to help understand and manage your components. When all of the component fields have been filled in, click Review and Save at the bottom of the page. Here you will be able to review the component you've just added to ensure all information is correct. To finalize and add your new component, click Confirm. You will then see a message that confirms the component was successfully added to your account and you will receive a confirmation email. We hope you found this video helpful. You can find more Horizon instructional videos in the technical library. If you have any additional questions or need assistance, contact customer service. We're here to help.